I will play uh, three preludes from Debussy, which are in my repertoire since many years, and I, I love them, and I love to play them together. I think they combine with each other great. Um, so it's, it's a music which is really close to my personality, and there was no question for me if I have to play it as my solo pieces. And um, also I will play uh, Adagio from The Sleeping Beauty, suite for solo piano uh, from Tchaikovsky. It's a transcription from the great Russian pianist Mikhail Pletnyov. Um, these are pieces uh, because I played more pieces uh, from this suite and from another suite by Pletnyov on the music of Tchaikovsky. Um, it combines um, greatly with French music and with Debussy in my opinion as well. And I recently started to work on them so it was really a big pianistical and musical challenge for me to, to include it. Um, and about uh, Augustin and Ivan, um, basically since I came in uh, Queen Elizabeth Chapelle, uh, it was a dream of mine to, to play with Augustin. <laughs> so I was speaking about it for a long time to Bernard, to Annelise, that I really, I, I feel close to this artist so much and, and I, I was begging to have the chance to play with him so I'm really thankful that he agreed to, to take part in my uh, artist diploma concert and to, um, to make my dream come true. Um, and I'm looking really forward very much for playing together. And Ivan, of course, he's uh, one of the greatest uh, cellists of the young generation now and uh, we know each other since many, many years. Um, maybe we were 15 or 16 years old. And we met in a chamber music uh, festival and course. And, um, and yeah, and so I thought that it, it could be a great combination, the, the three of us. And I invited him to, to come and thank you for coming. <laughs> the Schubert uh, Sonata for Violin and Piano Number no. 2 is uh, the only one that I haven't played yet. So um, it's a great pleasure that I have, um, I have the, the possibility to play it for the first time with Augustin. And it's, it's really one of the most beautiful pieces uh, that he wrote. So I'm really, really happy that we have, uh, we have the possibility. Uh, and the Brahms trio number no. two is quite rarely played. Um, and I don't know why. <laughs> It's uh, maybe because it's incredibly difficult or, or very big, I don't know, but it's, it's a music that uh, should be really much more played and I, I really wanted to share it with, with the people and, and in this company, <laughs> of course. Um, and um, yeah, well, I have it in my repertory uh, since not so long time, so I was really looking forward to bring it back like this. Je suis extrêmement heureux depuis pas mal d'années maintenant d'être dans, dans cette belle maison de la chapelle musicale Reine Elisabeth parce que ici il y a quelque chose qui est précieux et qui n'existe pas beaucoup ailleurs dans, dans les grandes écoles de musique c'est un compagnonnage ça veut dire que on est dans le même laboratoire on est en train de travailler ensemble et de faire une certaine forme de recherche musicale et je dois dire que Avec Victoria et avec Ivan, les répétitions ont été un vrai bonheur parce qu'on était justement dans cette atmosphère-là de recherche. De... Et vous savez, dans la vie des musiciens, c'est un des moments les plus beaux, les plus importants. C'est le moment où tout le monde pense que c'est le moment où on est sur la scène. Ce n'est pas vraiment ça. Le, le, le moment où la musique se crée, le moment où on l'imagine, le moment où on, on essaye de mettre un certain nombre de, de, de sentiments, un certain nombre d'idées en commun, c'est le moment des répétitions. Et ça, ça a été un vrai bonheur. Of course, we are missing the public, and of course, playing just for life is uh, it's sad sometimes. But I cannot say that I am. Uh, 
uh, very uh, frustrated because in this time we can we can do just some different things and as soon as we still have these possibilities to do music together it's wonderful and to discover such great works like for example drums trio and uh, so I can only say that it's uh, it's, uh, I enjoy it so much and uh, it's my pleasure and honor also to, to play. My journey in Chappelle started four years ago um, and it's been um, a long journey because um, I think I changed really a lot um, as an artist and as a person and it gave me um, a lot for my life, as, really as a person. Uh, so, um, I had amazing uh, concerts, uh, tours. I played with my teacher, Little T, many times we had different projects together. Um, so, um, it, it's really something that I would remember until the rest of my life and I hope to be back again at some, at some point. Um, and uh, the, audience, the audience here has been always very warm. Unfortunately, now we don't have it, but um, for the ones that are watching the concert, um, I would like to, to express my love for all of you and hope that you will stay safe and um, never give up, give up your dreams and stay strong. And even through the screen, um, I feel we share together our love for music and for art. Thank you.